So this is our van. Her name is Libby, which is short for Liberty because we wanted something that had the meaning of freedom or something like that because it's our freedom to explore and live life and just like have an adventure basically. So we wanted something with that meaning. Libby is a 2016 Winnebago Travato 59G and I'm gonna walk you around it and inside of it, but I'm telling you right now that I do not know any of the technical specifications. So this is gonna be my version of it, which is gonna be not very helpful. So let's begin. So as you can see here, you can hook it up to water and electricity with a hose and a cable wire, I don't know. There's one for tank, which is like the internal storage tank, which holds I don't know how many gallons of water, but it's quite a bit. And then the one that connects to the city, which lets you use as much water as you want. And then that's the electrical cord thing. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Let's continue. I don't know what that vent does. I'm sure it gets rid of something. These are the tires. I don't know. Let's go inside of the van. Ooh. I can do this. Bum -ba -da -dum. Welcome to the inside of our van. It's kind of messy, but that's okay. This is the bathroom. It's pretty cute and it's kind of tiny and it makes me feel like it's an airplane bathroom. So inside of this little cupboard, we have all of our towels and stuff like that. And then this is the toilet and it works basically like an airplane toilet and it's kind of weird. This is our toilet paper and this holder is made of two pairs of wooden chopsticks and a hoodie string that fell off while I was doing the laundry. And it makes me happy because it's green and red, which makes me think of Christmas. So that's a fun time. There's a shower curtain. We've not showered in here yet, so who knows how that's gonna go. It's a pretty tiny space, but whatever. And then we have a curtain rod up here, and then we have this bucket thingy that's holding our toothbrushes and like shampoo and conditioner. And then we have another curtain rod there that's holding like a hand towel, and then we have soap over there that's like in a corner. This is the bed, well like the main bed. It's like a little bit bigger than a full size bed. Not as big as a queen definitely, but definitely like it's pretty large. It could comfortably sleep two people. It's like two small people and slightly short people, but you know, that's okay. And then underneath the bed, there's like a ton of storage space, which is not coming into focus. So that's great. Okay, focus. Yeah, so there's like a ton of drawers and stuff under here, and that's basically where we keep all the junk that we don't really need right now. This is the kitchen. This is like our wash station that has like soap and then the dish towel and then dish stuff. And then we have these two super convenient little storage thingies. I don't know what to call them. But they're holding a bunch of coffee and like spices and this isn't actually ketchup and mustard. It's like salt and pepper and something else. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper because we need to add spicy things to everything. And then these are all of our dishes. And this is our stove. It's underneath this and it's a propane stove and it works really well but we try not to use it if we're like plugged in to electrical system. This is the sink, it lifts up like this and then this lifts up like this and then it sprays everywhere because I don't know why. <laughs> okay, because it's a sink, that's why. And then our pantry is this area up here and ramen on ramen on ramen and then we have bread and coffee and that's really all you need to survive. We also have bananas and some paper plates. Our kitchen has more storage space on the bottom so this cabinet here has all of our pots and pans. And I say all of our pots and pans, but it literally has one pot and one pan, so that's good. And then we have three drawers right there. This has miscellaneous spices. I don't really know what's in there, being honest with you. This one has cutlery, so it has forks and knives and spatulas and a can opener. And the bottom drawer has cups and bowls. This is our refrigerator. It's actually really big. So it's fitting a ton of stuff. So like the door, by door, the door is fitting all of this, all of this. This is a lot, guys. And then the inside of it, there's like a little freezer compartment which we're not really using because it's unnecessary. But then the rest of it has these shelves which are fitting so much food. Like this is honestly like over a week's worth of food fitting into this tiny fridge which isn't actually tiny at all. And then we have a microwave which is a microwave. I mean, it's a microwave. And inside of the microwave, we have chips and Pocky because we ran out of space in our pantry. This is kind of like, a, not a linen closet. It's like, you know like the closet that people have by their front doors? It's like that kind of a closet. So it's clothes mostly, but it's also like jackets and purses and it's out of focus. You can do it, camera. Our cleaning supplies are hanging on this and it's pretty cute and convenient. And then we have this tiny little cupboard which is currently holding paper towels and trash bags. 
this is our like main living area, living room, kitchen, dining room, everything. So we have our main table here, and then we have my ginormous backpack and jackets. And this is like the other seating area. There's seat belts under there so that two more people can sit there. And then we have this little odd bench thing, but our water tank is actually underneath that. And then we have our two front chairs. What is this called? It's not a cockpit because that's the inside of an airplane, but that's like the, what is it called? I don't know, whatever. But that's the driver's seat and this is the passenger seat and they both swivel around as you can see so you can have like a huge group of people sitting here. Not like a huge group, but like a decent group sitting here. <laughs> and then this is the front. That is a steering wheel in case you were wondering. And this is a radio and air conditioning and all of that stuff. There's that stuff. But there's like a ton of storage space up here too. Like we have huge deep pockets down here. We have the pocket thingy there. We have another huge deep pocket over there, which you can't see. And then we have more storage down here that's underneath this cover thingy. And ginormous windshields covered in dead bugs and dirt, which is lovely. And I just hit my head. I think that's pretty much everything. There's my mom. She pretty much put everything together. Only thing that I'm responsible for in this van is the Christmas toilet paper holder, which is not surprising at all. So yeah, that is Libby. I hope you enjoyed checking out our van. It was a fun time talking to you about it, even though I gave you no specifications about it whatsoever. This is Libby, and we're hoping that she goes on a lot of adventures from this day forward. So yeah, come along, I guess. I don't know. Okay, bye.